about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't Namaste Hungry Happy Souls, in this video I am going to Siena, the heart of Tuscany. I am going to Siena as a day trip from Florence and it is one of the most beautiful offbeat locations in all of Italy. So if you are on an Italy trip, Siena must be on the list of your must visit sites because of its beautiful city centre, cute little cafes and streets and a very interesting cathedral. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. Oh, about to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Right now I am in Piazza del Campo which is the main square of Siena which you can see right behind me. The special thing about this square is uh, it is D in shape uh, unlike others which are usually round or square uh, in shape. It is also one of the uh, best preserved and the largest piazzas in all of Italy. Uh, uh, this town is famous for its medieval city center and it's also one of the best preserved uh, city centers in all of Italy and that is why it has been listed on UNE UNESCO Heritage World uh, list. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to climb that uh, big tower uh, there which is around 500 uh, stairs because uh, I'm going to get a beautiful aerial view of the entire town and the regions around. And then I'm going to visit the famous Duomo of the city, uh, which is supposed to be one of the beautiful uh, in Italy. And also it has a beautiful library. So I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to take you to the small streets of the town to get the character and the feel of the city. And of course, I'm going to visit some nice places which uh, have some vegan and vegetarian options on their menus. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow Uh, for the ticket to the tower but uh, tower is still closed because of corona so uh, they told me that there is another tower which I can climb at Dumo from where I can get the aerial shots so let me see if I can get the tickets for that tower one of the quick tips is take the bus as I said earlier uh, it costs around 1.5 euros uh, for the ticket from the bus station to the city center and the city is very safe uh, you can move around freely uh, i did not see any uh, you know people who uh, would look intimidating to you plus uh, since i had very little time i am coming here on a day trip but usually people come here for an overnight stay because uh, they say that you know uh, this place looks much more beautiful at night so i'm i'm having a little uh, you know late night train so i'm trying to capture uh, the city at night as well let's see um, if I will be able to, I will show you uh, the night aspect of the city as well. But before anything else, it's time to grab some food and for that I'm going to Cafe Blandis. They have good variety of vegan options and vegan gelato as well.
Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, cheers. Cheers. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can. You can come to Siena as a day trip from Florence, and it'll take you just one and a half hours to reach Siena. And if you book your tickets early, you can get them as low as 20 euros for a return ticket. Many people choose Pisa as a day trip from Rome or Florence, but I would say Pisa is interesting, but Siena gives you the true flavor of Italy. So right now I am standing in front of Siena Cathedral which is also called the Duomo. Uh, this is an 11th century church and it is as magnificent from inside as it is from the outside. So I am going to take you inside and show you how beautiful this church is. So let's go. Okay guys, so one thing is there is no uh, vegetarian or vegan restaurant in particular in Siena but most of the cafes and restaurants that I visited had a couple of dishes on their uh, menu uh, which were vegan and vegetarian and if they didn't have it, they were ready to you know tweak something uh, for me like the uh, cafe that I uh, visited in the morning, Blandis, that's my personal recommendation, I absolutely loved its food. Uh, they always have a couple of vegan dishes on their menu and uh, when they didn't have today because they were out of that dish they made something for me they customized uh, as per my you know dietary requirements so most of the times you will be able to get something uh, which uh, which is vegan or vegetarian and uh, coming to the transport as i told you a single ticket will cost you around 1.5 euros and that ticket is valid for 60 minutes so you can do n number of transfers in those 60 minutes and the accommodation is uh, priced from 50 euros to 100 120 euros and you can get some really beautiful uh, hotels and airbnbs within the uh, city center so my recommendation is take something very very close to the you know main piazza because the views are awesome and it's really nice to sit here and sip a coffee and chill uh, you know having a relaxing time Bye-bye from Siena. <laughs>